Now at Perplexity, you're building an answer engine, but you don't own the content and you don't own the models. So what is your technical moat and why is the Perplexity approach better than direct vertical integration? She's politely asking me why you're just a rapper, so tell us how, <laughs> how are you gonna build a those are your words, not mine. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like, like this is kind of like, actually I would be uh, one year ago, like the whole um, community was pretty divided on which startups to invest in or like which kind of startups to build. Should, should these companies be training their own models or should they be like using APIs? And um, we had a conviction that number one, models are gonna get increasingly commoditized uh, that uh, and if you do want to be one of those players that, that build their, like, like our, our provider of the models, you need to have an insane amount of funding and you need to be uh, a company that is losing billions of dollars a year and it's still fine. And uh, we didn't want to be, we, we were not in a position to be and we didn't want to be either. So we decided to use other people's models and shape them to be really good for an end-to-end -end consumer experience of searching and, you know, we felt like there was a lot to do outside the model. Uh, there, and um, I think that bet ended up being right in the sense there are a lot of companies that were trying to build their models who no longer exist, uh, and I think that uh, was a clear uh, proof point that like you know you either raise ten billion dollars or you don't do this thing at all, you, you do something else, and 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 for us we were like working on uh, giving answers to people, mm -hmm. and is if the answer to this question, for, for giving accurate answers to everybody, do you need to build your own foundation models? Uh, if the answer to that question is an absolute yes, yes, we, should, we shouldn't be doing this thing without raising 10 billion. But I felt like if open source makes progress and models keep getting cheaper, uh, the cost of like these APIs is going down 2x every four months. So assume that trend continues for another year or two we're at least gonna ride the wave of a 10 to 100x reduction in the cost for the same intelligence, and the level of intelligence and reasoning is also going up, and open source is keeping a check on these closed source models and bringing the price down. It's a perfect time to be an application layer company using these models and like post-training them to be good at summarization, referencing, formatting, custom UIs for like so many different verticals, finance, sports, uh, you know, reasoning, all these kind of like charts. There's so many things to do outside the model that we felt like it was just completely worth it to build a differentiated business. And at the end, like most successful businesses are wrappers of some form, right? Like uh, before they existed, something else was the more valuable thing and then uh, something comes on top. Uh, there's even a thing of like Coca-Cola wouldn't have really worked if the refrigeration technology did not exist, right? But Coca-Cola is an extremely valuable direct-to-consumer product. And so you can always create something, that's some magic formula, the right packaging uh, that works with the foundational technology, but in the hands of the consumer provides immense value to them that it's totally worth uh, building. And so that's what we wanna be.